everyone! How's it going? I hope you all are having a great day. Today I'm with Chris, who has never had his nails painted before. And so today we thought it'd be fun for me to paint his nails while he asks me trivia questions. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Ambergris is a waxy substance that originates as a secretion from what aquatic animal? Um, sea slug? I don't know. Think larger. A secretion? Secretion. From an aquatic animal. Yeah. Ooh, look at the color. I haven't actually looked at the answer yet, though. I mean, sure. Okay. Think larger? Think much, much larger. Whale? Yeah. Oh. Sperm whale, specifically. Okay. What is the term for a group of kangaroos? Squad. I don't know. <laughs> a mob, troop, or court. Oh. The process of making cow's milk safe for human consumption is what? Oh, that's... Oh, gosh. I feel so tired. <laughs> Pasture and pasteurization. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I need to focus on these two things at once. I'm just like, oh gosh. I know, that's the point. I gotta make it difficult for you. Okay. Orcanus orca is the scientific name for what animal? An orca? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Well, I mean, what is it, what is it colloquially known as? A killer whale? Yeah, okay. <laughs> these things are in varying levels of difficulty. Um, which bird has eyes larger than his brain? Ostrich. Oh, ostrich. For some reason, I would have said owl. Okay. okay, I need the other hand now. What is the only snake in the world to build it a nest for its eggs? I can't open this. <laughs> you got this. Ugh. Oh my god, you're gonna spray it over. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna use your mouth. Oh my gosh. Here, no, no, let me, let me try. Let me I got it. I got it. Okay. I got it. <laughs> what is the only snake in the world that builds a nest for its eggs? The only Come on, everyone knows this. Everyone knows everyone this. Everyone knows this. Is it in a tree? What? A nest in a tree? I don't think that's what it means. I don't think. Um, I don't know. Um, a cobra. Oh, yeah. Nice. Actually, yeah, King Cobra. <laughs> oh, okay. Shot in the dark. Um, <laughs> How do you know? Yeah, come you on, know. I do knew that. <laughs> oh, I have a sixth sense. <laughs> yeah, you have a sixth sense, but only about snake trivia. About all trivia. <laughs> okay. Then what is the only bo mammal born with horns? The only mammal? Born with horns. I don't think rhinos have horns. They do have horns. No, but they're not born with horns. <laughs> yeah. um, what even is a horn? I'm gonna guess... No, narwhals aren't mammals, are they? Narwhals? I don't think they're mammals. I know they might be mammals. They might be mammals, yeah. They might be mammals, but they're, technically that's not a horn, that's a tooth. Yeah, so that's what I mean, like, what is a what is a horn? Um, elephants don't have tusks. Is that a horn? I don't know. <laughs> is a tusk a horn? I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think it is. I think a horn is specifically... I'm doing a great job, by the way. Like, you can yeah. tell. I don't it's paint all over my. my I know my fingers. <laughs> I don't. I don't paint my own fingernails, and I have it for years. And so, this is. Is this? Like, is it look like more liquidy than it usually is? It just kind of depends on what kind of nail polish you use. They're all different. Okay. All right. Well, the answer is giraffe. Oh. They have the little tiny ones. Oh yeah, cute giraffes. What okay. flightless bird is featured Penguin? <laughs> on New Zealand's one dollar coin? Oh. Come on. New Zealand. New Zealand. Flightless bird. Yeah. Is it the one that has the really cute one? I don't know what they're called. They're green? I'll give you a hint. It's not this is, is it not the a green hint. one? I'll give you a hint. It's also a name for people from New Zealand. Oh, a kiwi. Yeah. <laughs> is it the green one? I don't actually know hundred percent what they look like. Mm. A wombat is a marsupial native to which country? Australia. Oh, yeah. I don't think I would have known that. A sounder, a sounder is the term used to refer to a group of what type of animal? Whale. It has nothing to do with Puget Sound. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, we live in Washington. We have a sound. Um, I don't know. Whales? No, not okay. I'll give you a, a help. It's a land mammal, and there's a type of flu. Oh, swine flu, pigs. Yeah, wild, uh, wild swine, pigs, or boars. Mm. The aardvark 
mm -hmm. is native to which country? North America? Oh, Wait, continent. Country? Sorry, sorry, continent. Con continent. North America? <laughs> the aardvark is native to what continent? North America? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Africa. Oh, that was going to be my second choice. What is the, I need to see your thumb. What is the only mammal that can truly fly? The only mammal? That can truly fly. This should one, I know this? This one you should actually <laughs> definitely know. I'm so focused on your nail. Think about mammals that can fly. Okay. And give you a hint if you need. No. Mammals? I, can, I really don't right now. I'm just so focused on his nails. I don't know. Maybe you need a different perspective. Maybe you okay. need to think upside down. Oh, bats. Yes, bats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need your other hand now. Oh my. We're gonna do a second coat. What is the name for a mammal that is born completely developed and usually carried in the mother's pouch? A kangaroo. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, sorry. Incompletely developed. Incompletely developed and usually carried in the mother's pouch. Marsupial. Marsupial, yes. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. We should have gotten sound effects. Um, what is the name for the offspring of a male lion and a female tiger? And it's from Liger. a movie that really annoys me. Liger. <laughs> yes. Can I see your other hand now? Uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. What spiny venomous fish common in home aquariums has become an invasive species in the Caribbean Sea in the U.S. Atlantic coast water, coastal waters? What? Can you say it again? What spiny venomous fish well, common thinking, in home uh, aquariums? A puffer fish, but they're not common in home aquariums. They're very Is it, a, is it the lion? Fish? It is the lionfish. Wow, okay. that's a good one. Nice. nice. I told you I have a sixth sense for this. <laughs> you have your sixth sense every tenth question. <laughs> Alright. The dingo is a type of feral dog native to what country? Australia. Okay, yes. What is the largest rodent found in North America? Is it not the... Oh, in North America? The, ca yeah. the capybaras are not in North, North America. America. Yeah. I think they're South America, right? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're South America. Um, the largest rodent? I, for the record, I didn't even realize this was a rodent. Is it a raccoon? <laughs> no. Is a raccoon a rodent? I don't know. Is it commonplace? What do you mean by commonplace? Like, would you do you know what it is? What do you mean, a picture book? Yes. What, what's the question again? What is the largest rodent found in North America? It's not a rat, is it? No. Think larger. Rodent? Don't don't necessarily think of rodents because I wouldn't think of this when I think of rodents because apparently it's a rodent. Is it a weasel? No. Are weasels I don't think weasels are rodents. I think they're their own thing. It's not a rabbit. Rodents, rabbits aren't rodents. Are, oh my god, what is a rodent? I don't know. <laughs> do you want to know the answer or do you want to yeah, keep talking? Yeah, I want to know okay. the answer. Beaver. They're, oh, I guess they were kind of rodents. Are they? I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, thought, I wouldn't have thought that as a rodent. Mm, interesting. What dog breed native to Japan has the name that translates to little bushwood dog? I'm going to guess Shibu Inu. Yep. Yeah. Six cents, man. <laughs> this <is> only, if <laughs> you said name a dog from Japan, I'd be like, I only know one. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, next hand. What is the only bird known to fly backwards. Albatross? <laughs> <laughs> think about it, think about it. Puffin? No, no, think about it. Think about what type of bird can fly differently than other birds. Chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Pigeon? No, 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 think, think, <laughs> you're just naming your... Hummingbird. Hummingbird. Okay, oh, yeah, that, that one's easy, yeah. <laughs> They're like helicopters. What is the largest bird by Ostrich. wingspan? Oh, albatross. Yep, albatross. He was like, like ridiculous, like five feet or something. Anyways, what breed of horse is best known? I for think juice... albatrosses are three meters long, wingspan. Uh, three meters, six feet. Three meters. I know, nine meter feet ish. Ten feet ish, yeah, ten feet. I will be I'm providing sure. the trivia. Thank you very much. I'm not sure. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> go. <on. laughs> 
What is the name for a dog created by crossing a Labrador Retriever and a Poodle? Labradoodle. Yeah. These are actually getting kind of easy. Okay. What chemical element gives... I'm drying your nails. Oh, away. okay. This is perfect. What chemical element gives the blood of a lobster a bluish tint? Arsenite. <laughs> Arsenite? <laughs> Arsenic? Is that what? Arsenic. <laughs> no. Not mercury. Mercury is red. Chemical element. 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 Iodine. No. It's not element. Think about things that turn things blue or something that can be kind of a bluish. Neon. Think about something that can be kind of bluish. Chlorine. Think about something that would give you kind of bluish. Uranium. <laughs> <Just nuclear. laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and that's how we got Godzilla. Um, <laughs> what chemical element? I think you can get this. I think you can get this. Oxygen. No, no, no. Chem that's not an element. <laughs> Helium. Okay, that is an <laughs> oxygen. Oxygen is an element. Yeah. Helium. Helium. <laughs> no. Okay, think about this. When <laughs> I was not great when at When iron straight. oxidizes, it turns red. Yeah. What turns blue? Nothing. <laughs> Ish. Oh, copper. That might have, okay, yeah, copper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that might have been a bad example. <laughs> But I've always seen it more as a green It's a greenish, yeah. but yeah. What is the name of the offspring of a male donkey and a female horse? A doris. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a mule. <laughs> yeah, okay, actually, I yeah, got good. good. Nice. They're known <laughs> for coming from Moscow. And they're delicious. But okay, that's not, that's not, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. Um, <laughs> And cut that part. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which snake who's untreated bite is almost 100% fatal in the world's fastest snake and... Wait, what? Wait, okay. Can you read that? Yeah, I'm bad at reading. Which snake who's untreated bite is almost 100% fatal and is the world's fastest snake on land? For the record, that was was written badly and that's why I wrote it. There was just random comments in places that shouldn't have been there, but okay. Not a rattlesnake. No. Um, Think about it. A viper? No, no, it's a hundred percent fatal. I don't know what snakes a hundred percent fatal. It does not live in the U.S. That a I know. Python. Of. It does not live in the Americas. I don't think. <laughs> I think it. I think it's an African snake. Okay, I I'm, already I'm said cobra for something, so I'm not gonna say it, cobra it's again. Not. It's the black mamba. Oh, I wouldn't have found that. They might not even be. I might be wrong. Where it's from. Can Anyways, I see if your nails are dry? I the think llama. They're not dry, but they're fairly dry. The oh, llama. Okay. okay, actually, I'm going to come. No, I like llama one. questions. Okay, fine, but it's easy. Okay. The llama is the domesticated camelid that is native to which continent? Per South America. <laughs> like, Peru. Peru. <laughs> what are yeah. your thoughts? <laughs> it, looks, it looks great. It looks no, hard. Don't lie. It looks good. That's her. That's no. nice. <laughs> Don't lie. Should we show? Yeah, you can show your hands. <laughs> I, I should have gone to a salon. <laughs> no, no, it looks, this is it looks, free. Yeah, no, no. Cassie's like, salon is free. It looks nice. <laughs> yeah. It looks nice. No, I think it, it looks like I did it. But it looks nice. <laughs> 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 it, looks, it, looks, it, looks, it, looks, it looks fine, except for the fact that it's all over the skin around the nail. It's and it's not covering... so much skin that's... <laughs> So when you get a professional manicure, they actually like take that the skin. skin off. It's also just not on all of the nail either. We're about to run errands. Comment down below if you think we should run errands with his nails. I mean, we're not going to get comments in time. <laughs> I know. Fine. Then comment down below what you think about how I did. Um, be nice. <laughs> or you can comment about how he looks. Maybe he looks fantastic and, you know. You just need to go to pro a professional, not me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so I'm done painting his nails and he asked me trivia questions. I hope that you all liked this and played along with us. Um, clearly, I'm not great at painting nails, but I think it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>